So this morning, we're back down at the dams. Then number one, succulent lamb. G'day guys, how are you? This morning, we're back down at the dams. It's that time of year, it's heating up, it's summer. We've got a dam full of yabbies, got some open top lift nets, some black opera house nets. We've got some different baits we're gonna be trying out. What do we got? We got dog food. We got kangaroo loaf, boom. And we've got, what's this one? Succulent lamb. And real chicken. Boom, like that. And a little bit of chicken carcass. Love it. So we're gonna try these four baits out in this dam. Try not to get in the sheep's way. They're thirsty, obviously. We're hungry. Let's get these abbies. Boom. All right, guys, net number one, succulent lamb. Right there. All right, we'll get those other three nets set all around the dam at all the fences. Um, Yabby seem to like a bit of structure. So there's one, two, three, four fences going into this dam. So let's get them. Alrighty, net number two. I reckon right there. That one was chicken. Alright, net number three, black open black opera house net. She's going right there. All right, lucky last net. We'll get over this fence, run down there, set this net, and then we'll give it, oh, I reckon we'll give it an hour. We might do an impatient check, like Robbie Fishing says, you always gotta do an impatient check. Yeah, we'll make it happen. All right, this is the lucky last net. The kangaroo, gourmet kangaroo. Let's hope the yabbies like kangaroo. How's this? You don't get this in the city. Man. Man. Alrighty, we're back. It's currently been about an hour. So I got Holly, she's pulling the nets today. Let's see what we get. Let's go. Go. Oh, there's some in there. Yes. How's that? Check, check this out. Jeez, they're big, that one. Yes. How are they? Look at them. Woo! All right. There's some with eggs. I'll show you. How you know. If it has eggs, that means it's female. All right, guys. So, how do you tell if it's female? Look at that. Look at those little eggs. Little babies, they're about to hatch. So, we'll chuck her back, and we'll go through the others. And we'll let her lay her eggs. Boom, she's gone. All right, the rest of them are pretty big. So what we're gonna do, get those in the esky, and check the other ones. That's the next one. Alrighty, 
Let's get this net back in. Net number two. Let's hope there's some big ones in this one. There's open top lift nets, you gotta pull them high. Oh yeah! That's a good haul! Check it out! Woo! They're big too! Yep! <laughs> As Robbie Fishing says, we have hit the Yabby jackpot! Woo! <laughs> Alright, they're going in the esky. Alright, while Holly's wrangling that yabby, let's get this one back. We are doing so good. Yeah. For the first pull. Woo! Alright, we got two more to check in this dam. Let's go. Net number three. Let's bring her in. What do we get? Oh my god. <laughs> Listen to that. Listen to that. There's some stonkers in there. Some big yabbies. Oh, there's a few small ones in this one, so we'll pick them out and do the last one. Big yabbies. Go Jack, pull her in mate. Yes. Oh, the biggest one yet. Yes, the biggest one yet. Check it out. Are you kidding me? It's alive. Yes. Oh. Get those in the esky, chuck them back in, another half an hour. Whew. Today's already worth it. Yes. How was that for a first pull? <laughs> Check this esky out. No way. And they're all monsters, except this one. Yes. How's that? Well, what we'll do, set them again, half an hour. We'll check them one more time. And then we'll do a cook up in the adventure kitchen. Oh, this is the best Saturday ever. All right, I will see you when we pull them again. Woo! Well, I guess we found where the sheep hang out. Alrighty, we're back. It's probably been, oh, it's been a good hour and a half now. So we'll get those nets in. We'll go home, we'll do a cook up, catch and cook, yabby style. Oh, we're getting Holly and Jack to pull those nets. I know there's gonna be heaps. There's gonna be heaps of yabbies, I can feel it. But we'll fill this esky up and we'll go home and do a cook up. All right, Holly, go for it. Does it feel heavy? Pull high. <laughs> oh, that's a good sound. Oh, yeah. Not Bring them here. Big ones. They're monsters. <laughs> All right, Jack's pulling the second one. Pull her in, mate. Yeah. Gotta pull high. Is there heaps in there? Oh, oh not heaps. But, oh. Not but they're big. <laughs> hey. Yes. Good. 
The Yebby jackpot. Woo! All righty. Second last net. Pull her in. Let's hope we get some big dogs. <laughs> there are some beasts in there. There's many, but there are big. Probably 50 or 60 in there. <laughs> All right. Last net. Let's get him. Lucky last net. Holly's onto it. How many, Holly? Every net has this many in it. <laughs> well guys, that's the lucky last net. Let's go sort these yabbies out. Get a quick photo and we'll get them home to all cook up. Well guys, that's it. We're done for another day. Two pulls, one impatient check. <laughs> Look what we got. Oh. <laughs> They are absolutely full and big. So what we'll do, we'll get those in the esky, bring them home to the adventure kitchen, do a cook up. Um, might do a yabby boil. I don't know yet. We'll decide when we get there. I have to thank my kids for helping. They did good. Holly pulled nets, Jack pulled nets. Oh, good to get them out. Away from the TV and the computer. Oh, gotta love yabbying. Alrighty, I'll see you in the kitchen. See ya. All right, guys, welcome back to my shed. It's now the next day. We're doing a cook up. So what we're doing today, we're going to do my recipe. Just a quick little version of pickled yabbies. So let's get into it. Alrighty, guys, first thing you got to do, boil these yabbies. So get some water on the boil. You only gotta like half cook them, so just so they're easier to peel. So we'll get that on the boil. Next step, you're gonna bang these abbies in and only cook them for about two to three minutes. While those abbies are doing their thing, we'll get onto the pickling part. Vinegar, I like to use brown malt. So you whack that in a bowl. Now we're only doing a little version because I made up some earlier, about a month ago. We'll give them a go. All right, brown vinegar, pepper. I love my pepper, so I use a fair bit of pepper. Mustard seeds. Big dollop of mustard seeds. Onion powder, just whack some of that in there, about that much. Um, garlic, crushed garlic, just off the shelf, big teaspoon. And now, because vinegar is so acidic, I like to use a bit of, add a bit of sweetness, chili infused honey. So whack a couple of teaspoons of that in there. <laughs> How's that? Gets rid of that potency of the um, vinegar. Gives it a bit of sweetness and a bit of kick. Boom. Now, we just mix it up. The honey should start melting in the vinegar, so it's getting runnier. Then we'll get peel these yabbies, whack them in there, oh, bang them in the fridge for a week or two, and start eating. <laughs> like I said, this is the most basic and simple recipe you can do. Anyone can do it. It's cheap. Oh, and they'll last for months and months in your fridge.
All right, guys, the Abby's are done. It's been three minutes. I'm gonna strain these, put them in cold water, peel them, and bang them in there. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, cold water. Five minutes is up. All right, we'll get these Abby's peeled. Oh, I'm so excited. Love pickled yabbies. Boom. Straight in there. Oh. Such an easy recipe to do. It's good with a few cold drinks. And everyone loves them. Alrighty, I'm going to peel all these and then we'll give these ones a little bit of a taste tester. <laughs> I'll see you once these are peeled. Done. We are done. Check this out. How does that look? Actually, it doesn't look like much, but It'll taste delicious. So what you gotta do now, whack a lid on that or put it in a jar. Make sure you sterilize it first. Chuck it in the fridge. I like to wait about a month. These ones here are a couple months old. So I'll give them a, them a taste tester now. <laughs> they even turn brown. So sweet. Now this is the exact recipe as that one, but this one's got a bit of onion in there. Real onion. <laughs> Damn. I could eat this whole jar with a cold beer, out by the fire. Love it. All right guys. Well, that's my little version of pickled yabbies. Um, quick, simple, easy. Anyone can do it. So give it a go. So that's it, guys. We're done. Pickled yabbies from the dam to the kitchen. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next adventure. See ya.